Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you are in the right place. Today is $20 Tuesday and I'll be showcasing more ponytails from Amazon. Yes, this is my new obsession. Well, maybe not new. I first started wearing ponytails in high school, like longer ones, long textured ones. I lost interest after high school, but I have like a renewed sense of, I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with them right now. Especially this ponytail right here. I'm sure y'all have seen this because I've been rocking it in video after video after video. <laughs> This is an Amazon ponytail in the 12 inches and I believe it's $29.99 right now. It was sold out for a while because let me tell y'all, the girls on TikTok, they really enjoyed the ponytail videos and it took off and they sold it out. But it's back in stock now so I will leave a link to this ponytail in the description box down below. And of course everything that you see in this video will be linked in my description box as always. When you shop through my links, y'all directly supporting is that your hair. And that means a lot to your girl. So, mwah. thank you so much if you have been supporting my Amazon storefront. Also, do y'all know that I go live on Amazon? I haven't done it in a month, but I'm going to bring back my lives this week. So please follow my storefront so that you can be notified when I go live. I like to share, you know, try hauls in real time, wigs, makeup finds, really anything I want. I have a lot of freedom on there. So catch me live on Amazon very soon now some of you were curious about that ponytail in the 10 inches and at the time when it was sold out i found a different vendor bought that vendor in the same 10 inches and i bought it with me today to show you guys right here it's super cute and it's also afro coily make sure you keep watching the video if you want to see you know a similar vendor i think this is going to be good but i'll show this one later on after i do the synthetic ones now before we get into the ponies i just wanted to quickly share what i use when i blow dry my hair as you can see right now it's blow dried i just put it back into like a little bun bun yeah i'm using some new things that i like so normally when i blow dry my hair i'm always using my revlon blow dry brush this is like my tried and true like trusty dusty rocking with me for like two years two and a half years now i love this thing i kind of want to revamp version though i kind of like a travel size version but i've gotten used to holding this and maneuvering it through my hair so i think it's great do know that the heat only comes out at the top part of the brush but i think it works just as well literally this joint cuts my drying time in half i cannot recommend this blow dry brush enough so if you have type 4 hair like me or even if you have other types of hair this would work well for anybody get this brush y'all i'm telling you you're not gonna regret it another tool that i use that's important is my detangler brush this is a black owned business y'all felicia leatherwood i was very pleased to hear that last year and i love this brush because as it combs through the strands these flex i got some hair in here right now because i use this all the time <laughs> especially since i've been rocking my natural hair more often these past few months this is a godsend oh my god if you need something to detangle your hair please try this out it comes in a variety of colors too they got pink purple red yellow orange on there on amazon what i love this thing this has been like god's gift <laughs> Shout out to my boo Brittany, aka the Hearts of Cake 90. She's the one that put me onto this, and I can't thank her enough. Now, recently I did do a video called The 10 Wig Trends I'm Ditching in 2022. Shout out to everyone who's watched it. A lot of support in that video. Thank you very much. But in that video, I mentioned that I was ditching, neglecting my natural hair. So, part of that is making sure I moisturize my hair on a daily basis. And I must say, this right here is helping me a lot. This is by Carol's daughter. I got this actually as a gifting from Amazon Beauty. I didn't have much expectations from it, but I really like this stuff. It smells good and gets the job done. Now, I used to be a natural that was very much into using natural products only, like only shea butter, only things from the earth. But I've eased up over the years. Now I'm just like, look, if I find a product that works for my hair, if it has like a little bit of alcohol in it, uh, I'm not tripping about it. I don't really mess with mineral oil, but again, I'm just not as much of a stickler as I used to be um, when I first started my natural hair journey. I guess things have just changed, especially if I find a product that was free and I actually like it. I'm just going to use it. So I would recommend this. I'll make sure I link this down below. I normally use my wide tooth comb as I'm like brushing through my hair, greasing my scalp, things like that, because we are about hair care. It's 2022, okay? We're not just gonna be plopping on wigs and we haven't had a trim in like a year. Feel me? Another tool I use regularly is my spray. 
I love this spray because look at that long mist that comes out. It gives great coverage when I just want to dampen my hair, maybe before a blowout, or if I'm keeping my hair in like its natural state. This is awesome. You definitely need something like this in your hair collection. I use this pretty regularly, so I recommend it. So today I am going to show you all my natural hair and show you what we've been working with. I did mention that your girl needs a trim, honey, okay? Like, because I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. Oh, did I just break my... Oh, no, I didn't. You gotta be... For I'll be right back. All right, y'all. <laughs> I found another ponytail. I had to still want to seize. So I'm just going to show y'all how I'm going to brush up my hair. This is my hair right now. It's actually in a much better condition now than it was like last week because I've been slowly trimming off the ends myself until I get back to the dresser. But I am just going to show you guys that I'm going to use this. When's the last time I used jam? I'm throwing it back, y'all. This is brand new. I'm going to use this to push my hair up into a top knot bun. I don't have a boar head brush right now. I don't know where my old one is. So I haven't been brushing my hair up the way I normally would, which would make it like slicker, sleeker, but I don't really care. So here's the jam. I'm just going to apply some to my head. Oh, this is thick, honey. It's green, right? Oh my God, this is so old school. I cannot... Not old school, but it's like, it's, it's been a minute. And I'm just lathering in my hands. And I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to apply it throughout my hair. Oh! And I'm just going to use my Felicia Love the Wood brush. That's what I've been using since I haven't found my boar head to brush my hair up into this bun. Because y'all have been like, oh, well... How do you brush up your hair into a bun for your ponies? So here I am showing you guys in real time. Oh man, I really need a brush for this, but we're gonna just do the best that we can with the palms of my hands, okay? Actually, I'm gonna use this here to help me out. I normally would use this just for edges, but I haven't really been laying my edges lately, and no, I'm not doing no baby hairs. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, in my um 10 wig trends that I'm ditching video, the girls were in a tizzy about the baby hairs, and, and not in the way that I expected. I thought more people would like be against what I was saying, but apparently people have been feeling this way for a long time that baby hairs are just out of control. Out of control! <laughs> Y'all gotta go watch that video. I had so much fun making it. I'll link it down below. 10 wig trends that I have been ditching in 2022. Cause honey, there's just some things that gotta go. Once I put my lace friends back on, you will not see me doing those 10 things, okay? So make sure y'all go check that out. So this is what I normally do, right? I got the pony. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> and then from here, this is like a texture spray that I was gifted through Amazon Beauty. Lord knows what this is really supposed to do, but I've been using it as just a way to saturate my hair with something nice because <laughs> it, it smells nice. And I'll just braid up, not braid, I will just twist up my pony like so. And then I will just wrap it up like this. And that's what I do when I'm getting ready to put on a pony. Easy breezy, beautiful. I feel like this is a great base for a lot of different ponytail styles. Like, oh my God, my mind is running right now just thinking about it. Again, if you're interested in the jam, which I haven't used in like 10 years, but from what I could tell, I'm here for it. I am going to get a brush. Don't come for me in the comments. So next time I do this, you'll see a brush. But I'll make sure I link this down below as well. All right, y'all. So this is the first ponytail that I bought from Amazon. $12.99 on the website. This is synthetic. This is not a human hair one. If you want to see more of my human hair ones, definitely check out the first ponytail video I did. 
But yes, y'all, I think this is very cute out the pack. All I did was just put it on and it's a very firm grip. It has two combs and a drawstring like most ponytails do, but this looks good. Now, as you can tell here, it does not match my texture. Also, I didn't do the most to try to slip down my hair. It's just not something I do normally. When I put my hair up in these ponytails, I'm not trying to make it look super sleek. I'm just throwing my hair up because that's how I like it. If I was going for a sleek look, I would use water and gel and a brush and really go in. But that's just not what I cared to do today. So I wanted to show y'all how it looks out the pack. Let me just get a little closer so y'all could see what the curls are hitting for. And I think this is very cute, especially for $12.99. Come on now, please. I do want to fluff this out a little bit on camera because some of y'all were asking me, like, how did you fluff it out? Y'all, all I was doing for that first ponytail y'all saw, I just went like this. Now, the human hair one I did wash. Definitely wash that one. But this is synthetic. I'm not washing it. I'm literally just finger combing right now to get a more lived in look because that's how I like my ponytails to look. I want, but I didn't want to exclude the people who like a more defined curl. So that's why I was like, let me just show them what it looks like before I start fluffing this bad boy out. So this is how it's looking after I fluffed it out. There's still more fluffing I would do, but I would be here for a minute. And the sun is going down. I might have to continue this tomorrow. Yikes. Yes, y'all, this is so cute. For $12.99, you can't beat the price. And it is Toy Y'all Tuesday. And y'all already know what we do on Toy Y'all Tuesday. I'm here to share with y'all super cute and affordable wigs, hair pieces, clothing for the $20 price range and below. And this is well below $20. So let me know if you're adding this one to the cart. Also, for my girls who have no edges, have no fear, grab a wide headband. I haven't worn my headbands in a while, but look how wide this one is. You see? See how I like throw this on really quickly? And boom, no edges, no problem. Edges covered, and plus you have a cute little ponytail to boot. I know we all prefer to show our edges, but I'm trying to give the girls options because I don't want to leave y'all out either. I know it's hard out here when you are dealing with hair thinning, but there are options. Ooh, look at this red one. This one's cute too. These are from Amazon. I bought these like back when the headband wig trend was on and popping. And clearly this is still a go. I really like it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you would pick this one up. This is cute. Again, this does not match my hair texture and it's also not my same color. This is a 1B in the 12 inches and my hair is number two, like true and through. But I'm still making it work. I still like it and I'm definitely going to gently pull out some more of these curls like this to achieve the look that I want. All right, y'all, we're back. It's a new day. I got the robe on. I love this damn robe. Oh my God, from Amazon, these feathers give me life. But anywho, let's get back into the ponytails. So as you can see, this is not my hair color, but that was purposeful because someone from my audience, one of my supporters mentioned that it's hard for her to find number four colors. So honey, if that was you, I found something because I'm a true number two. So you can tell that this hair is definitely a true number four. So that is a pro for this ponytail. If you've been looking for a number four, if you have that like chocolate hair color naturally, you might want to consider this one. I think this is cute. I just don't like it in this style. <laughs> but the ponytail itself is totally fine. And this is only $14 on Amazon. All the colors range between like $14 to $17, I believe, on there. So definitely check it out. This is by Free Trust Equal. And yeah, I don't have no issues with it. It's soft, it's fluffy, and it looks like textured hair. Look at it from the side. You see? It's a lot of hair, though. All that hair in the back. Also, another thing is this joint <laughs> does not feel secure. <laughs> on my head you definitely need to put some bobby pins but speaking of bobby pins you know something that's really cool that i found i want to show y'all this so this is called hair pin pal right it's basically a magnetic bobby pin holder so it comes just like this with these bobby pins and literally it's magnetic y'all like what it all just sticks to it it sticks to it where has this been all my life 
yo, as a woman, especially as a black woman, you know, bob pins just be everywhere growing up. And I wish I had something like this when I was younger, when I was a teen, really learning how to do my hair. So, if you need something like this in your life, especially dealing with these ponytails, grab one. It'll be linked in my description box down below. All right, so we're gonna do one more ponytail, y'all. And we are going to do this one here, the one that I showed you earlier, right? So, well actually, let me do this first. So before I go like unraveling my little pony over here, I want to spruce this up a bit. I want to make this look a little bit more lived in. So I'm gonna take my water bottle here and just spray. Look at that long mist spray, I love it. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just spraying and I'm just going to comb through it a little bit with my detangler brush. Combs through very easily. And you see that? Look at how it's already looking like money. Oh my God, this looks so, y'all see this? This looks so freaking natural. Oh my God. I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed with this already. I was actually going to put my product in here, but I don't even care to do it right now. I don't think I, yeah, I was gonna put my mousse, but I don't, I kinda just wanna rock with just the water right now. Okay, what's this? All right, be mindful. Hmm, this is supposed to be a human hair piece, but I see a little plastic piece in here, which tells me that this may not be 100% human hair, y'all. But I don't really care because it looks like it. <laughs> this looks so freaking good. What? This is just me using my detangling brush and spritzing water. I could like throw this on my head right now and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like this looks amazing. Let me just toss this joint on. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I actually have like six more ponytails in the stash and a few more like in my wish list. So what do y'all think of doing like ponytails maybe once or twice a month for the next few months. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know, ooh, yikes. Let me know in the comments because if y'all are here for the ponytail styles as much as I am, I am willing to bring them to you, you know, on a more consistent basis. Also, you should definitely follow me on TikTok, Is That Your Hair? Because I'm showcasing a lot more content on there, especially sneak peeks and stuff before it hits YouTube. YouTube just, it takes a lot to like sit down and film on my camera, my nice camera. But on TikTok, I just pull out my phone and like start recording. So it's just easier for me to get content out quicker on that platform. So if you wanna kind of be the first to know certain things, start following me on TikTok, for real. We actually just reached 4,000 followers, which I'm super stoked about. So yeah. Oh, hey y'all. I'm literally just gonna show y'all this in real time. Let me show you how easy breezy these ponytails be. I wrap up my hair. I, I swear I don't do the most, y'all. I really don't. I wrap up my hair like so. You see that? Separate it. Twist it up real quick. This is literally gonna take like less than three minutes probably less than two minutes. I twist it around. You know, you can add a bobby pin if you like. Now that you got your little hair pin pal, you, your bobby pins are easy to find. <laughs> You're done, and then literally, I grab this pony with the one comb in the front, one comb in the back, and I'm just tossing this joint on. Look. What? Yo, this right here? Oh my, <laughs> yeah. this is the 10 inch one, y'all. So you can probably tell that it is, you can probably tell the difference between this and the 14 inch. Let me get lower here. Oh my God, let me look at myself. <gasps> y'all, this looks absolutely amazing. my hair right here this is bomb look at that look at how easy that was who's on a website this and you know how much this cost this was like 20 
$28 on Amazon. Definitely in the $20 price range that we speak of on $20 Tuesdays. Honey, get into it. This is my hair. You can't tell me nothing with this pony on. Oh my God, and wearing my nice little I've been into small hoops lately, even though I'm a big hoop kind of girl. Let me just wrap this one around real quick because it keeps sticking out. But y'all, this looks damn good. Okay, y'all, I'm sure this is amazingly clear which one is my favorite. This, you, this is a must have. Like, it's ridiculously, it looks so damn real. And I, I'm telling you, the, from the first ponytail video, the 12 inch that I got, Every time I wear it, every single time people compliment me on my hair, they think it's my hair. People that have known me for some years, they're like, oh wow, your hair grew back really fast. I'm like, sure. <laughs> if you only knew. Nah, I'm one of those people where I'm like, as soon as someone's like, oh my God, I love your hair. I'm like, oh my God, it's a wig. <laughs> oh my God, I got it from Amazon. They're like, wait, what? Yes, I'm one of those. I just can't help myself. I be want to put everybody on, so. We may as well just end the video right here. Add this to the cart. The first ponytail that I showed, right, it's very cute, but it is a synthetic ponytail, so it has a more synthetic look and feel to me. Still very cute, especially for $12. You really can't beat that. However, if you wanna, you know, spare an extra $15 or so, definitely check out this human hair one because, I mean, no one's gonna be able to clock you with this on. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I definitely gotta share this with my girls on TikTok. I'm sure they are gonna really appreciate me finding another vendor with this natural puff look. So yes, y'all, that's it for $20 Tuesday. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which point tell you added to the cart? Which one was your favorite? Let me know. You already know what it's hitting for over here. I love it. The 10 inch is hitting, but the 12 inch is still my favorite because I feel like the 10 inch, my hair has been this length before but the 12 inch is like ooh, i feel like i'm really doing something different from what i normally do so either way i'm gonna be rocking this one out absolutely for sure <laughs> and can you believe i didn't even put any product in this however if you want something more defined definitely check out this mousse i'll have a link down below the frizz free curl mousse Awesome, Kara and Brittany recommended to me. Cannot thank them enough for that. And if you are new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank y'all so much for joining me for Toy All Tuesday. As always, from your party, you know I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video.